Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon as it's just slightly getting darker. Proverbs chapter 5, and we're looking at verse 20. For why should you, my son, be exhilarated with an adulteress and embrace the breasts of a foreigner? So why should you be exhilarated with an adulteress? And the concept of being exhilarated is to be happy, to be so overwhelmed with joy. And Solomon is saying, why should you be so overwhelmed with joy from the life of another person when God has given you a person to be overwhelmed with joy with? So he's saying that let the one that God has given you to love and to be loved by exhilarate you. Let the person who God has made precious in your eyes, that special one. And uh, what about if we don't have a special one? Well, we can use the Lord as a special one. We can let the joy of our relationship with God. And what about if we do have a special one? Well, we can still let the Lord be that special one and we can share the Lord with the special one that God has given to us, even as we have been given to our special one. And so God is wanting us to exhilarate with joy, to be overwhelmed with a sense of happiness. Uh, and our ambition and desire is to bless and, and affirm uh, the one who God has given us to love, but also to be a blessing in so many ways to one another. And it's important that we learn to do that. Or oh, he says, don't get distracted by the embrace of the breasts of a foreigner. And really what he's saying is that don't find your comfort, don't find the place of intimacy from someone outside your home, someone who shouldn't be getting that level of attention. No, he says, what you need to do is you need to find your focus on the one that God has given you to love. And uh, we are called to be dedicated and faithful to the one who God has given us to love. You know, I've taken many weddings, you know, and uh, to death us do part is the revelation of the promise that we will be committed for always. And uh, in my family, we've said uh, the, the word divorce doesn't exist. But what about if you've been divorced? What about it then? Well, there's nothing you can do about what's been done. But whatever you've got at this moment in time, see that as your special one. And let that be the place that you find comfort, where you find rest. Don't give yourself to the messed up foreign foreigner but give yourself to the one who God has given you to love thank you for joining me be blessed have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow